Welcome to chapter three of the Mindful Athlete's Interpretation of the Tao Te Ching. Chapter three, Lao Tzu explains to us that we need to enjoy the moment and that we shouldn't be too focused on the future. Uh, too often we are focused or transfixed on our next move or what our future holds that we lose sight of the beauty of the present moment and thus are less effective in the present moment. So in sports, you know, know and embrace your role on the team. Uh, don't overvalue yourself. Don't undervalue yourself. Don't seek personal achievements over what you can do to help the team win. In addition, don't overvalue others, including your teammates. In the NBA, oftentimes we'll see elite players' teammates uh, standing around and watching their teammates do their work. And the team becomes less effective overall. Further, don't overvalue your competition. Don't become awed by the level of play when you move up a level or your competition becomes greater than it used to be. Understand that you belong on that team and in that competition. Uh, just your being placed on that roster means that you've earned your position. Teams want you, the current version of you, perhaps a version that they think might improve over time, but they want you. You are selected to be on that team and don't try to be more than you are. So by doing that, embrace your role. Teams need all team members, all teammates, all coaches to embrace their role in order to maximize success. Teams have inner struggles because players expect more or desire more playing time or bigger roles from themselves. When all teammates understand who they are and who their teammates are, we can all be content with being who we are. We can be consistent delivering what we are capable of. That's what our teammates want from us. They want us to be consistent and consistently deliver what we're capable of. And coaches can create excellent game plans when they know what they will get from each of the teammates and each player on the team. No more, no less. Our example is be humble and focused on the moment like Tim Tebow. Tim became a star and a leader by promoting others. In Tebow's interviews, he thanks God, or, and we can say that God is another way of saying the Tao. He thanks and praises his teammates, his coaches, his fans, his family, his friends, and he even praises his competition. Uh, he praises others and he shifts credit to others. He takes responsibility for his actions, especially his failures. Coach's tip, play for today. When you're training, train for today. Work to just improve yourself and be the best version of yourself on every rep every repetition, whether that's in the gym or taking a ground ball or shooting a free throw, making a sprint. Just try to be the best version of yourself in that moment. When you take advantage of each moment and you're improving in each moment, we can be more grateful for each moment, appreciating what we have each day, each moment, and embracing new opportunities. By avoiding lofty goals or goals that are too far in the distance, 
We're able to truly appreciate the moment. And that will give us the best opportunity to not only appreciate where we are and enjoy the ride, but will also give us the greatest opportunity to maximize our success, both in the present and in the future. The quote that I have from Tim Tebow is, don't worry about what you cannot control. Our focus and energy needs to be on the things we can control. Attitude, effort, focus. These are the things that we can control. Go ahead and smash that like button and help get the message of the Tao to other mindful athletes.